Hello everyone, how's it going? It is Too Small and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should use or buy a notebook if you're a content creator. And even if you're not a content creator, this can help you out a lot. So first, we're going to start off with the note taking part of owning a notebook. So if you're a content creator, you know, you want to write down your ideas. You want to write down like what you have planned for the future of your channel or just everyday things. It really only doesn't apply to content creation. So first, let's start off with note taking. So here is a memo book, or at least that's what it's called. And here's where I write ideas and my notes, as the title implies. Um, so when I first came across, you know, across this idea was when my friend told me about how he normally does his intros and his scripts in a video. So he's a content creator as well. He posts art reels on Instagram and here is the one that I normally use or at least used to use for notes, scripts. And let me show you guys a few examples actually. So here, um, so I have my YouTube and I have an Instagram account where I talk about music. So that's what this is related to. Um, so yeah, this is my script that I did and it was very helpful. But then I came across this video where it was talking about why you should own a sketchbook um, or a pocket notebook. And pocket notebooks are kind of expensive. They're like seven to 12 bucks for just one notebook. So for only a dollar and 12 cents, or I think 21 cents with tax at Walmart, you get not one, not two, not three, but four tiny notebooks. And they have 80 sheets each, which is really good. And let me show you guys some of my notes that I have in my notebook. So here is the first part. So the orange highlighter is stuff that's not related to content creation. Um, the blue is related to smalls and too small for this channel as well. And then the pink is for my Instagram account. So it's really good if you date your ideas just to know when you last wrote those ideas, just so you know how long it took you. But the thing about owning a sketchbook is that you actually have to commit to the idea. So for my Instagram account, these are just like um, bits of history or music history that I want to do sometime in the future. And these were ideas that I wrote in the big notebook. But when you have scripts and you have ideas, they kind of get meshed or they kind of get mixed and you kind of struggle with trying to find them. So let me go real quick so here you go so here was my intro for the call of duty video on my main channel and a little bit about my instagram like my next post and then here were some ideas and i put them in ready just so it's very it's a lot easier for me to find my ideas but especially like here more ideas or um, scripts scripts here so it's very hard you know, looking for my ideas when there's so much other information. So owning a tiny sketchbook like this is really useful because not one, um, do you write your ideas in there? If you're out and about, you can fit this in your pocket, which is really good. So here's literally the idea I wrote on the 18th of March, and I'm barely making this video now on the 29th of March. So it's been a couple weeks. I think it's been like a week and a half. And then here um, for more uh, ideas for that video, uh, here are just the, some of the books I've read this year. Um, and then here are some more um, video ideas. And it's really useful because I also put sticky notes just for um, other stuff that I just don't want to include here. But uh, for example, work on Warzone video. I worked on that and I already uploaded it. That's why it's already highlighted. And if I don't highlight, if I don't highlight it, it means I haven't done it. So that's why um, this one's not highlighted because I haven't worked on the video yet. I just have the idea right there. Um, here, um, I was taking a test. Um, I was looking for some answers and I accidentally subscribed to a uh, subscription service, but that's just there. It doesn't even work for only content ideas, but it also works it also works for everyday things, which is really good. So now let's go into the big notebook and see kind of some of the scripts I've written. So let me go to the most recent one I did, which was the Warzone video. And here's when I wanted to buy the notebook on the 16th and I bought them almost two days later, which is not that bad. But if we look here, 
Um, I write about a sentence, maybe two. Sometimes this isn't really the best idea because it, you sound more robotic rather than authentic and it doesn't really come off really good. A better one is something like this, where you just write a sentence or you just write a couple words to kind of give you a guide into knowing what to talk about next. Um, it could also help you be more confident on videos. And in my personal opinion, the way I see it is the more confident, the more trustworthy you are, and the much more trustworthy, the more entertaining you are. So that's the way I see it. Um, you want to, you know, build up that confidence and building or writing these scripts can really help you do that. Um, this video didn't really come out that good. Um, it should come out in a couple weeks or so. But for example, this is a album review I was working on. Um, but you can see it's like a sentence, a couple words, which is really good. Um, that's something that you want to do. You don't want to write out full sentences or an essay. Some people might argue that why not use your phone or your computer? The good thing about having it on paper is that you don't get distracted as easily as you do like on your phone. For example, if I'm writing something right here, um, I'm not looking at another app and I'm not forgetting what I'm trying to write about. But if you're on your phone or on your computer, you have apps, you have bright colors that are distracting you and kind of um, overwhelm your brain and kind of make you forget what you're trying to um, write about. And I'm not gonna lie, um, I used to write all my ideas in a notes app but i never really checked it so um having it on paper you know you never forget it you always see it on your desk whenever i go to bed um i put my phone like whoops well i put my phone like right here or like right here and then i have my notebook right next to it with a pen on top just in case i get an idea right then and there um really useful and really helpful and if you want to spend a lot less time on your phone having a notebook is really good and you don't even have to use a notebook you know for ideas you can use it for you know to write stuff one of my professors at college always told us to write out write out our thesis and kind of write it down some ideas that we have so we can kind of flesh those ideas and write it into an essay and a friend of mine the one who introduced me to writing my intros and my scripts into the notebook um, really useful, really helpful, and I will be including a small message from my friend who introduced me to writing my ideas and my scripts and my intros on a notebook. So yeah, this video isn't something, you know, I don't want to make you want to buy it. The good thing is that Walmart does offer these pretty cheap, and if you just want to try out this idea, the great thing is you can just buy one for 30 cents, which is extremely cheap really useful and even like bigger notebooks um like for example um the spiral notebooks you can also get them just as cheap i think they're just like 50 cents um so yeah this is not an idea that everyone's gonna enjoy but i would recommend you to try it out and see how it works for you but yeah um let me show that clip about my friend you know talking about why you should own a notebook so a notebook helps me to write ideas for my videos and most of, uh, most of the times i use it to sketch I like to have a space where I can speed my thoughts and what I'm thinking in little doodles. Having a small notebook that fits in my pocket is essential to me because if I had I'd like a giant pad that I cannot take everywhere will be a pain and probably wouldn't use it as often. And the fact that it's physical makes, makes it more special because I have a physical proof that reminds me of what I'm doing. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.